All right, you guys, you know H-E-B, what, a day or two ago, you should have already seen that haul, same exact day. I met up with my friend Kira, we went into Costco, and this is what I came home with. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and share what I picked up. I have not been in Costco in a very, very long time. So I picked up some goodies, definitely a lot of Christmas stuff going on. So I figured I would show with you, share with you guys everything that I found. Um, I think my total was around 320 and but I will be popping up prices. So like always, you can see what or how everything adds up. And I know my cat, here's Stitch. He's about to try to jump on this table because he knows I have fresh flowers and he likes to try to eat all my plants. So we shall we shall see if we can get, get him to stay off this table. Probably not. Um, all right, oh, he likes the window. Hold on. I know what I'm gonna do for you, buddy. I am gonna open the blinds and you, there you go. You can just hang out in the windowsill and talk to birds. Okay. So we'll start with some Christmas stuff here. I did not set like things together. I just kind of spread them out on the table. First, we have this um, set of 20 gift bags and it is the Hallmark Recyclable gift bags. They all have little handles. Um, it says boxes made from 70% recycled content. And let me go ahead and turn it around because on the back, it actually shows you everything that you get. So you get four of these really small ones three medium, six large, three extra large. You get two little bottle bags and then two mega bags. And I just loved the color that they have going on here or the palette of colors that they have going on here. And then, so I did go ahead and get this wrapping paper also. And this wrapping paper is really cool because it's double sided. So let me get close up right here. You can see there's this wrapping paper right here with like the leaves and everything. Um, but the other side is a completely different pattern. Then we've got this red one, the other side you can see here and the stars here. Oh, the <laughs> Oliver's uh, smelling the cats now and they're gonna be playing in the background. All right, and then we've got the trees right here. This is Kirkland brand, which is Co Costco's brand. But again, the double-sided gift wrap. All right, this is not Christmas or anything. I just saw these. I went back and forth on getting two boxes, but I was like, eh, four is plenty. It's not like we're, we ever need eight at once, but I thought these were great. These are double wall glasses with a handle. And as you can see here, you can have hot beverages in them and cold beverages, and I thought, Going into the cooler months, hopefully, uh, my car when I got out of Costco said 103, which is absolutely ridiculous um, a week before Halloween. That is nutso. But anyway, I thought these would be great for hot beverages, whether we're like walking around the neighborhood or even here at home. I love the glass um, cups. That's how, can you guys see my my coffee mugs are all right there. Oh, it, wanna, it wants to focus on the door frame, but all of my coffee mugs, I actually got all of those off of Amazon and they're all like this, just a see-through double pane glass, which is really, really nice. So I picked that four pack up to have, these are just a little bigger. And then I always like to get the candles. Normally I get the hand soaps. I passed on the hand soaps this time, but just for gifts, like in the past they were teacher gifts. This year I have a few other people that I'm going to be gifting to, just something small. And I loved these candles. They had all of them out where I could smell them and they all had a really good smell. Normally you get like a pack where one candle just isn't quite right. No, these all smell really good. So they're four 12 ounce soy blend candles. There's a berry clementine, a um, vetiver, is that, I think that's what that says, birchwood, a balsam cardamom, and then a toasted vanilla. And like I said, I thought they all smelled really, really good. So I picked that up for gift giving, or who knows, maybe I'll just use them. You never know. It's a great price for four candles. Then we come down here and this is a pack of little spreads. <laughs> and I was like, this would be something cute. Um, and not necessarily as a gift. You could buy this and gift it to like an adult for you know 12 days of Christmas countdown kind of thing. Or you could also break it apart, make little mini gifts with it. That would be super cute. But I thought this would be good just to have the kids try something new with like toast and eggs in the morning. I thought that would be fun. So there's 12 different ones in here and they are pretty mini because this is not very heavy. And to have a bunch of jars in there, I'm assuming they're like the little ones maybe that you get from, not Cracker Barrel, but there's one restaurant 
where you get the jam for your toast in a jar, like a little mini jar. So until I open these up, I won't know for sure. But here's all the, if you guys wanted to like pause and read all the flavors, it tells you. And this, what I liked about this is it's not like, there's not multiples of the same one. I was worried about that because some advent calendars, when it's like food related, a couple days, it's the same. There may, most of the time, there's only like six flavors and you get two of every one. You know what I mean? But this one, it is 12 completely different jams, which I thought was cool. So we're going to head, like I said, I thought that would be fun for the kids to try. And then back here, I got two different kinds of like a ramen, a microwavable ramen bowl. So this one up here, when we did have a Costco membership before I started going with Kira, um, this is something that we would pick up once a month because Mark and Pearl really like the Vietnamese pho. So this is not a nine pack Snapdragon beef flavored noodle soup. And like I said, Mark and Pearl are big fans. So I did go ahead and pick that up. And then I saw this one and these bowls are a little bigger. So this is, I think it's a six pack. Yeah, there's six bowls in there and it's ramen with chili oil. So it's gonna be, a, it's gonna have a little bit of a spice to it. So I thought they would enjoy that as well. So I picked that up. I did go ahead and get the eggnog, even though we are still a week away from Halloween, I'm gonna have myself a little glass of that later tonight because I am a huge fan of eggnog. I know it's not everybody's like, thing that everybody loves it but I did go ahead and pick that up and then I almost forgot this and I just noticed good thing I'm not giving this as a gift because this is completely ripped off but these are super cute so last year I think I got them from Trader Joe's but they were little like cookies of gingerbread men that you put on a mug for either coffee hot chocolate you know you could put hot tea whatever they're just super cute these are it's a pack of 16 and they are actually gingerbread houses so they are 3d gingerbread houses and i just thought that was the cutest thing they're individually wrapped so again you could make you could take these apart and make different gifts for with these and a couple other things like a little mug a gift card this in there like a hot cocoa packet that would be super cute for just a smaller gift if you need it for somebody um so i'm gonna hold on to this until i know who we're gifting to this season and whatnot i'll definitely keep three of them for my kids or if we have like a holiday party for the kids with their friends i just thought those were super cute so i picked those up all right this is actually a two pack and i picked this up as a gift for somebody um, but I didn't need both of them. I didn't need one here. We've got peanut butter. I mean, the kids would eat it, but I didn't really need it. But Kira said she would like one for, she mentioned like she has somebody that she would like to gift one to. So we split this. She paid half of it for me. She like gave me cash for it. So went ahead and um, split that. But like I said, the, the price that I'm popping up is for two. You get two of these Bischoff, a cooker buddy, cooker butter like peanut butter spread so went ahead and got that all right this i used to pick up all the time when i had a costco membership and mark absolutely loves these we've taken these to a few different holiday events and everybody just raved about them this is not my thing i don't like peppers like this um, but like i said mark loves these so i went ahead and got them they're hand stuffed cherry peppers and they are stuffed with cream cheese so not quite sure if i'm going to hang on to that for something we're not hosting a ton this year at least not right now we don't have all of our plans set in stone but as far as like family functions we're not hosting a ton but there are a couple things that we're going to be going to so i might save that might not all right this i uh, i initially said uh, i can make these for cheaper um but then i was like i'm gonna get them because convenience in the end won out rose and pearl like these every now and then when we go to starbucks they will get these i enjoy these ones from starbucks so i've made a copycat one it's not exactly the same so i went ahead and picked this up it's the starbucks sous vide egg bites with the bacon and the cheese i think starbucks has two or three different kinds the bacon and cheese ones are the ones that we always get and I think this says five servings, but I think two is one serving. So it might have five packs of two in here. So 10 total, but they are relatively, I mean, they're little egg bites. So they're about that size. So you, you really are going to want two and not just one. So that'll, you know, go for five, <laughs> five servings of that. All right, back here. I also thought these were gorgeous, like the packaging, not quite sure how they taste. Um, but these are David's cookies, cranberry pistachio biscuits. Both of them are exactly the same thing inside it, but the packaging is just a little bit different. So this one is a black background with all the florals. And then this one is a blue background with a little bit of a different floral going on. So I went ahead and 
got these. Again, I thought these would go good as a gift. Um, we have several people that we gift to make little gift baskets for that kind of thing. So I'm starting to kind of, you know, pick up the little things and we'll start making things come together. Maybe I'll even make a video of a couple different options. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments if you want to see like some easy gift basket ideas because I enjoy it. I just, Kira's birthday was this past week. I don't know when you guys are seeing this video, but her birthday is October 19th. And um, this Sunday was the first day that we could get together. What is it, the 21st, the 22nd, something like that. Um, but I gave her a gift basket. It was all like food related and I just enjoy making them. So if you guys want to see a little video on those with the holidays coming up, let me know. I can pick up a few extra things that I know I could gift to people and make some gift basket ideas to share with you guys. Okay. I know I picked up some, was it last week? I believe, um, some different spaghetti sauces. We actually weren't the biggest fans of the Walmart brand spaghetti sauces. I felt like the flavor was lacking a little bit. Um, I thought the price for these was great. It's four of them. So this is a great pantry staple and it's the Bertoli organic olive oil, basil, and garlic marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. So that's what we use this for. Um, I went ahead and picked this up so we could just stick it in the freezer and add, or not to the freezer in the pantry and have with the rest of our stuff. Okay. Kira and I both picked this up. Actually, there's Kira and I both picked up a couple of several of the same items. <laughs> but when we saw this, we were like, ah, oh, these kind of things just get me. They're just gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out what I want to do with this, this holiday season and use it. I mean, I have, I have several different like grazing boards and uh, charcuterie boards and that kind of thing. Nothing like this, nothing long like this. That would be awesome in the middle of the table. Maybe this would be great for like, oh, I don't know if it would be great for a card game or something because it would be in the way. I don't, we could always put it off to the side. I don't know. I was just, I talked myself into it. So I did go ahead and get this. I thought it was awesome. It's 31 and a half inches long by eight and a half inches wide. And it's just about 0.9, it says inches in the uh, depth department, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It actually goes all the way. My flowers, my gorgeous flowers are sitting on top of it, but you can see it has the two little slots on the end. So like I said, that was really, really pretty. I had to put that in my cart and Kira did as well. All right, I got some dragon fruit. Pearl and Rose really like trying the different kinds of fruits. So I saw that they had these. They looked really, really pretty. So I went ahead and got this package. It has two in there. And then Bryce really has been loving steaks lately. So I did go ahead. We don't have any plans for this. I actually already have the meal plan made, but I don't plan out meals for the weekend um, because we just don't know what's going to happen. Things pop up and I don't want food to go to waste, like buy something that's fresh and not use it. So I figured steaks would be something easy peasy. Even if we have a few extra kiddos over, Rose does not eat steak. These are pretty large. I'm actually not the hugest fan of steak either. So if there's extra kids over that like steak um this is something that we can make something else with and then have like the steaks as well and bryce will get to enjoy it this is also something that marks mark cooks not me since i'm not huge on the steak so i went ahead and picked this up it is beef loin top sirloin steak so pick that up all right back over here to the flowers aren't these gorgeous these are so pretty i love them so much that pumpkin is fake. It's got a little, it's like a little velvet pumpkin, a little stick in there. So I can keep that and reuse it if I want in the following years. But these, this just arrangement is super, super pretty. So I went ahead and picked this up. I don't have any fresh flowers in the house. All right. I saw somebody, I don't think I watched a haul. I think it was just like a quick little either YouTube short or um, real on Instagram where they were like showing some of their favorite foods from Costco and this flipped up and my kids love pretzels. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get this to try with them. It says it has four of the wheelhouse pretzels, which I'm assuming is that one. And then six of the sticks and then 22 plus. So there might be a little bit more, but 22 of the little itty bitty, they're calling them one timer bites. And it has three different toppings. Uh, three cheese pretzel salt, a French toast sugar, and then a classic pretzel salt. So I thought that would be fun if we have a game night, if we have extra friends over, family, whatever, that I could just make this whole thing and it would be, it would be really awesome. 
on this actually for like when family comes over for a game night or something that would be that would be really really cool okay i got these pockies i actually already opened it because i sent maya kira's daughter was with us today i sent her home with one she was like oh i love strawberry pockies so i opened that and i gave her one so don't, don't i i did that i ripped the the packaging there but this is a set of 12 pocky sticks my kids love these things there's three of the cookies and cream there's six of just the original chocolate and then there's three of the strawberry cream and well now i have two of the strawberry cream because like i said i sent maya home with one but that was a good find my kids love those all right i got some wake up wipes i only have one package left this is my favorite brand it has it gets rid of everything on my face so no matter what makeup i'm wearing waterproof mascara this is the brand that i like i've tried not every other makeup wipe brand out there but i enjoy these i've even tried the makeup wipes um, like the cloths i just it does not i don't like those so i know it's better to use the cloths because i could just wash them but this just works the best on what i choose to use on my face makeup wise makeup wise so i went ahead and picked these up my girls are starting to play with makeup more so i will let them use these um i was picking up the cheapo ones from the dollar tree in the past for them but i feel like now that they're preteen they're getting closer to puberty all the things their face is starting to break out those are going to be great for them um, so just fyi if you have younger girls i feel like you should try those if you've tried other ones and they're just not getting along with their skin try neutrogena i've been using it for years and i absolutely love it all right and then i have actually seen these i don't know if i've ever picked them up from Target before, um, but Kira actually saw these first and showed them to me and I was like, you know what, I wanna get those because I think the girls would really like them. Bryce would probably like them. He's more of a heartier eater. He likes the breakfast sandwiches and stuff. The girls like the toaster strudels, like I mentioned in the HEB haul and pancakes and waffles and stuff like that. So I think that these will be yummy. They look really good with the blueberries. I got those jumbo blueberries from HEB. So this is gonna be a yummy breakfast one morning. I can always uh, make some scrambled eggs to go with this and bacon. That's gonna be super delicious. So it's the Belgian boys bite-sized pancakes, light and fluffy. It also shows that they're, I just noticed that you can pop them in the microwave for a minute or just heat them up on a skillet so there's 72 in here two pack ready to eat pancakes okay so there's two packs in here and there's 72 total or there's 72 in each pack I don't know I feel like there's 72 total um, but I went ahead and got that that'll be a fun breakfast actually with it being that many I might save that for the next like sleepover the girls have when there's extra girls here um, and make that for in the morning with some like I said scrambled eggs and bacon that would be really really good so I went ahead and picked that up but who I try to do this fast because it's like the end of the day, the sun's going down. I still have things to finish up. So <laughs> hopefully I wasn't rambling too much or went too fast, but that's everything that I got from Costco. Um, I only go with Kira cause she's the one that has a membership. So I, I give her the cash and, or I send her money, you know, through online stuff and, and she gets the stuff for me. Yeah, we, we go around the, the membership, me not having a membership there. I'm sorry about that. But hey, I like Costco sometimes, just not enough to go once a month and use that membership. So anyway, this is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.